Attention, ladies and gentlemen, Gungans and Droids. This is your Grand Admiral Arnold, director of the video gaming division here at the Galactic Empire. You caught me at a good time. Just moments ago, we discovered another rebel vessel out there, but with the flick of a couple switches and the Imperial might, they've been deleted out of space. But I got great news today, ladies and gentlemen. After extensive testing with the finalizer this weekend, I have discovered that you can also beat a ready friend. The Negotiator, which will be making the finalizer the most offensive ship in Galaxy Beers. And boy, oh boy, is that going to be incredibly helpful for Grand Arena and Territory Wars. Gary, send them on over to the command station. Let's get down to it. Come on in, ladies and gentlemen. Plenty of room for each and every one of you. Let's get down to business. The other day, I showed a video how the finalizer just, just absolutely demolishes the Rebellion, Hans Minion Falcon, deleted, extremely important for Grand Arena territories, but for Fleet Arena PvP, and in case people are gonna start transitioning because of the finalizers defeating the Rebellion, putting Negotiator on defense, you can defeat the Negotiator with this lineup. And this lineup is not different whatsoever compared to the previous videos and streams that we've done. But what's really gonna change is just the opening strategy of who to put Hans on. Normally, we kind of put Hunted on, the one that's kind of the most threatening on the other field. So traditionally, for a lot of our streaming and testing, we've been throwing Hunted over on uh, Jedi Knight and a kid Starfighter because he is the deadliest ship over on the Negotiator fleet. But with a simple change of strategy, when you place Hunted on the Hunter, the Hound's Tooth, things become so much easier because Hunted prevents bonus term meter. And one of the biggest, most annoying things is, is that the Hound Tooth gets a ton of term meter whenever another ally takes damage when he is not taunting. So he gets all these taunts up. And once he taunts, it's hard to, for the finalizer to get around the Hound Tooth and get to Jedi Anakin. So that Hunted on Jedi Anakin really doesn't help all that much. But when you put Hunted on the Hound Tooth, you can control him from taunting. And by the time he taunts, Jedi Knight Anakin is a gonzo. We're gonna go after uh, this lineup right here. This is more traditional, uh, more so than this lineup over here. So let's go ahead and show you how it works. Same thing as before. You're gonna wanna make sure you load up the front wall of your initial lineup with as many first order as possible so that General Hawk starts the battle off ASAP. So first order special forces, TIE fighter, TIE silencer, Kylo Ren's command shuttle. Each and every one of these ships are gonna be incredibly important no matter if you're going up against a rebel fleet or a negotiator fleet. And then our reinforcements are kind of the same. Ebon Hawk for buff this spell when it comes and on reinforces it actually works very well. And it's needed to get the finalizer. Buff immunity is gonna be helpful if you gotta stop Jedi Knight Anakin from going under stealth when he has unending loyalty. Gar sucks and works very well in this lineup, which is great. This is a ship that's not used. Mass cleanse, uh, protection up and all that stuff. And these guys, ah, you probably could put something else in there. More so for damage and target lock that they're here for. So let's go ahead, hop into battle. We're gonna have to try to focus as much as possible and show you how this cookie crumbles. So this is gonna go a lot easier if we can make sure we time out Anakin's unending loyalty. I'll, I'll explain what I mean in a second. I'm not gonna take too much time to talk. Let's get that hunted over on Houndstooth. Bonus Terminator, gone. Stun Jedi Knight Anakin right here. Now, this is what I mean. You're going to call in the assist with Special Forces TIE Fighter, and I ideally do not want to trigger Undending Loyalty, but I want to get Skywalker to about 25-30% health before going into stealth. That's not ideal. It's going to be a little bit trickier. I'm not going to lie, but we could still can pull it off. Hopefully, we can get a battle where I could show you the ideal situation, but this is why we brought in Ebon Hawk so we can get a buff immunity over on this fool here. Let's just see if we can maybe apply a target lock. Um, no target lock anywhere. Let's do a stun. Boom. There we go. He's not going to do anything. As you're going to see, we're going to control Houndstooth for a very, very long long time here we go let's see if we can pass over this to him oh let's try it let's try to brute force our way through hounds to 73,000 damage and we're just getting started ladies and gentlemen all right we're gonna bring in Ebon Hawk Ebon Hawk's coming in we're gonna try to apply buff immunity to Skywalker so that way he can't go back under stealth beautiful they're calling in most likely clone sergeant there we go now this see by now we could have taken out Anakin Skywalker but we kind of had an um not ideal starter here we go let's just try to go ahead Gets uh, as, uh, the Kylo Ren as many turns as possible. No sense doing a buff to this folks. That taunt's just going to reoccur in a moment here. Man, we need like a good AOE or something right now to take care of Jedi Anakin. Not an ideal start. It's not looking pretty. We're going to go ahead, smash our AOE. Jedi Anakin's gone. So this would have went a lot easier. It would have went a lot easier <laughs> if we were able to control unending loyalty at the start. But once Anakin's gone, it's a smooth run at that point. We got our first hunt to target this, uh, taken care of, which you know what that means. Makes everything a lot better for us. Our damage is increased. Let's go ahead and try to get some protection up over on our uh, Kylo Ren's uh, command shuttle. So now we just got to deal with Ahsoka Tano. She's kind of the next threat on the fielder. But we can probably brute force our way through her because our damage is increasing. So I'm actually glad we got the not ideal situation to happen here because 
this makes uh it shows you that even in a non-ideal situation we're gonna pull off winner let's see hopefully we can kill off uh so katana here really at the reinforcements you don't have to worry about specific order because you do not want to be putting this ship on defense this ship is not a defensive ship by any means let's see if we can maybe take him out boom 104 000 damage it's funny we were doing extensive testing on a live stream and it really just came down to moving hunted to a different target it's a night and day difference can we get some target lock in the field uh can we finish them off uh and they're gonna call in a reinforce so we're really not kidding an ideal situation here but we're still gonna do perfectly fine i'm actually gonna stop him from doing anything funny let's see if we can get kylo ren to blow away at let's just come on big hit right here please boom he's gone game set match not ideal situation right here with the how unending loyalty kind of panned out but we're still gonna pull up a very solid win this my friends is incredibly powerful for grand arena territories and if you're trying to move up in a fleet arena because now we know that the finalizer can beat akbar can beat malevolence so long as you can control the buzz droids and now we can beat the most dominant ship right now the negotiator so we're gonna do another battle real quick here but this time instead of fives we're gonna have ahsoka tano in the starting lineup these are top 10 fleets here we're trying to climb to number one right now again we're gonna try this all over again hunt it over on houndstooth hopefully you guys can follow i just gotta do this quickly because i notice if i take too much time to think or just do a talk here and there these battles could get close to timing out no worries we didn't get a stun on anakin let's do this we're gonna go ahead and uh this is actually odd that we're getting him to go a bit earlier but let's get that ability block over there here we go can we try to not put anakin again i uh ideally do not want to trigger that unending loyalty and because now i have to go through another one i kind of want that unending loyalty to trigger if we can make sure skywalker is at like 30 percent health before going under unending loyalty it's not the best start but still as you saw before we could still make it work no sense using this right here so what we're gonna do here is let's go ahead we're gonna uh give us uh uh, 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 uh Ty silencer his turn right here let's see if we can do this i'm gonna try to, we're gonna get evan hawk in here in a second might as well just smash anakin unending loyalty triggered in a moment we're gonna get our evan hawk in here let's just go ahead and uh get some target lock applied over here look at how he's doing nothing beautiful evan hawk I haven't really found a home for me. It doesn't really work out in the Raditz, but he works out fantastically here. That should take out Skywalker. Look, even again, we didn't have the ideal situation. I'll show you footage in a moment what the ideal starting situation is like. But if, even if you don't get it to pan out that way, you're still going to be fine. Here we go. Let's see if we're going to get a hit there. That's fine. Uh, let's see. Uh, we don't want to use our ability block. Just yet. Let's just feed Termeter to the whole team. Not going to do an AoE because we're going to get everyone the counter attacking us let's save the buff immunity i'd rather put that on hound's tooth or something like that all right let's see here if we can maybe smash away uh we don't know since doing on ahsoka tano i don't think we're gonna let's stun him let's stun hound's tooth yeah i don't want him getting a taunt up i'd rather get buff immunity on him then we deal with the taunt uh afterwards all right oh uh, let's see what we want to do here all right here's what we're gonna do we're gonna go ahead and put buff immunity over on him because i believe he's gonna do his little dance in a moment oh uh, let's just smash an aoe here because we can't really do much we can't get any assist there we go. We got an E. We smashed in here in a moment. Come on. Let's see if we can take care. There we go. Let's get, uh, we can't call anyone really uh, necessary to assist, but what I'll do here is I'll get Kylo Ren's command shuttle to assist so we can get some protection up over here. Uh, ability block, buff the spell. Perfect. We can actually get rid of him right now. Boom. There goes our hunted target. The finalizer smashes the negotiator if you can kind of make sure that you kind of, uh, dance right. This, again, is not a defensive fleet. I do not, I do not endorse you using this ship on defense. People walk over it because the AI is not going to play this correctly as we're doing it right now. All right, let's go ahead. Try to get that buff the spell right there. Beautiful. Let's do a, a big hit right there. Awesome. Looking good. Looking good. Let's see. We'll just do this. We'll get rid of that foresight. Get some protection up. Boom. We're smashing the negotiator right now. This is going to be incredibly important because we talked about how people might move away from putting a, uh, the, the, the rebel fleet over on defense. Now it's like, well... <laughs> Now it's like, well, I can maybe put Negotiator on defense and have a way to beat other people's Negotiator. And this is just, wow. There's your Negotiator fleet. It is going down in flames. He's no longer saying hello there. It's more like goodbye there, ladies and gentlemen. My goodness. Oh, boy. So we're going to go wrap up this video by showcasing one more battle behind me. This is the I more ideal situation where you're going to get Jedi Anakin to like 25 30 percent health without triggering unending loyalty that way the opposing kenobi just waste unending loyalty for no reason and that way you don't have to go through anakin two times but it really doesn't matter as you see ideally you'd like to get that situation i laid out for you but again if you come up to that situation where you have to trigger unending and the unending loyalty twice the ebon hawk is a fantastic tool to use with the finalizer call him in pull him out of stealth throw on buff immunity go all in on anakin and then once you trigger unending loyalty a second time 
he won't be able to go under stealth this time so you can go all in on jedi Knight anakin starfighter really really cool too my only recommendation is be careful because if you this these sometimes could be four and a half minute battles if they keep calling in reinforcements and you can't keep up with them but really that ever happens where we kind of get the four and a half minutes as you saw today even with my commentary we were able to quickly churn through all these top 10 fleets very 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 easily but i'm very impressed a finalizer being the best offensive ship in the game is going to be an incredibly powerful tool for grand arena territories and if you want to try to come up fleet arena without using a negotiator this is going to be a great tool to have in your uh, in your belt and it doesn't use hound's tooth or any ship that is needed anywhere in the game right now so it's win 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 across the board just don't use it on defense <laughs> that's gonna wrap it up for today ladies and gentlemen thank you so much for hanging out hopefully you guys have been enjoying ships i've done three or four ship videos back to back to back I'm enjoying ships a lot more lately. A lot more interesting stuff going on right now. And I hope it keeps going on this way. Like if you did enjoy the video. Comment down below. Are you bowing to the first order? I'd love to hear your thoughts down below. It better be your bowing to the Empire. And be sure to subscribe so you're not missing a thing. And I'll see all you lovely people in the next video. Peace out, everybody.